Hey everyone. So I got a great comment the other day from Ken Montville. Um, he's actually a question. He says, do you, I know of any plugins that will insert those big quotation marks when using the block quote function? And so I've gone ahead and I looked up, uh, or I tried to look up a few different plugins, and unfortunately I can't find any of them, uh, any plugins that will do this. And so I went ahead and figured out how to do the big quotes a couple different ways. And so I'm going to show you real quick how to do these. Um, one's definitely an easier way, the other one's an intermediate way, but you know, they're both pretty easy once I show you how to do them. I'm going to walk you through it step by step real quick here. So we can go ahead, I've created an example post here. And so, you know, basically to do the normal block quote, all you have to do, come up here, click block quote. Um, let's preview this. Oh. Then add our end block quote, end block quote. All right, preview this now. All right, here we go. So normal block quote, pretty standard WordPress. One option you can do is let's switch back over to visual here. Just click here, do a quotation mark, increase the font size. Don't really recommend this, but like I said, this is the easy way of doing it. And come on, big font. 36. Here we go. Okay, so preview. Okay, so you can see it gives you some bigger quotes, but you know, definitely not ideal. And uh, you know, we can make it look a lot better than that. Uh, pretty easy. So this is option number one. Option number two, which I would highly recommend doing, let's go ahead and get rid of these big quotation marks. Let's go ahead and open up. Adobe Photoshop real quick so we can make our image files because that's actually what these big quotation marks are they're just image files and so go ahead and make a doing 36 by 36 here transparent background okay let's go ahead and you know I already have a color picked out and everything but you can use any color you want and just do a simple quotation mark here I'm gonna highlight it so we have the whole thing and it's kind of off the page now so let's drag it into frame here Alrighty, and so you can see I'm using 745 points, so it's really big. If I was to do a standard, let's say 72, I mean it would be non-existent, you can't even see that. So anyway, let's go back to the 745, you can see that one. Put that here, alright, click OK. So that's good, let's just use that just as an example here. Let's go to Save for Web. And so I'm saving as a GIF at 128 colors. So you can see it's a really small size, 366 bytes, so it'll load really quick. Uh, transparent background, so it doesn't matter what background your site is, it's going to look good. Go to save, let's call it, this is our start quote. Okay, place. All right, so we have that. Now let's go to image, let's go to rotate canvas, flip canvas horizontal. This is going to be our end quote. Let's go ahead and save this again. Again, one GIF 128, save. Quote.gif. Okay. Okay, so now that we have our quotes all done, let's go back to our post here. And let's open up our file manager. And so you can see I'm already logged into my file manager just using, you know, standard uh, GoDaddy. Um, you know, you can use any program you want, FTP program, or, you know, if you're using a hosting service, HostGator, iPowerWeb, GoDaddy, it doesn't matter. They all pretty much have the same functions and use their file manager. Uh, it's really quick and easy. All you have to do is go to the WP Content folder and go to your themes. I'm using Thesis Themes, so I'm going to click on Thesis here. And then we go to Custom. And we have custom.css. So you're going to click on this, and let's go ahead and copy this. So in case we mess anything up, don't have to worry about it. <laughs> you know, we can always revert back to the original. So copy of custom CSS. Let's click OK there. OK, so now we can edit this custom CSS without fear of doing any major harm because we can always revert back to the original. So we'll go up here to edit. And so this is the CSS file here that we're editing. And so, you know, let's get down to the very bottom here. And I already have this text all ready to go. And I will give this to you so you can copy and paste this yourself to use. And just paste that right in. Just like that. Super simple. So we're going to come back to this now in a second because the only things we have to change are going to be your image file. So first, we need to upload our image. So upload new media, you know, just the standard media over here in your WordPress back end. Select files, and we'll do our start quote. 
Alrighty, and we'll come down here to the file URL. So let's go ahead and copy this file URL. And let's come back to our CSS and paste this in right here where it's images slash quote dot GIF. We're going to paste that in. So we have our start quote. We'll come back and let's add our end quote here. All right, got our end quote show. And let's go ahead and copy this as well this file URL, and we'll paste it here, just like that. All right, so now we're going to come up here and go to save. So now our CSS editing is done. Wasn't that quick and easy? Let's close that. We don't need that anymore. Don't need that anymore. All right, so now we're back to our post here for our example. Um, let's go to the HTML. We're going to take out this block quote that we added. You know, let's go ahead and take out this tag as well, backspace all of that. All right, so now we have our normal text here. I'm going to give you this also so you'll be able to copy and paste this because this is what you're going to use for the actual post here. So I'm going to paste that. So you can see it's still the block quote, but now we have a style, a class style three span. And then we're going to add the same thing to the end. We're going to end these. Now preview. Now let's see how this looks compared to our text quotation marks. See, there we go. Doesn't that look a lot better? And you can again use any quotation marks you want. Um, that doesn't even matter, you know, just create them in uh, whatever image program you're using. Real simple, real quick, and I hope that was a benefit to y'all. I know it was to me, and I'm glad that Ken asked that question because, you know, it gave me a chance to update my own block quotes now to have, you know, big fancy quotation marks. So if you have any other questions, please comment below. I would love to help you out with this, help you get you started. You know, personally, it took me a couple days to figure this out. So, you know, don't be afraid to ask a question. If you need help figuring this out, I'd be more than happy to help you. And, uh, you know, thank you again, Ken, for the question. Great uh, comment, great question, and I enjoyed answering that. So if anybody else has any questions, please comment below. Otherwise, until next time, we'll talk to you soon.